looking for the cheapest coins on the internet right now look no further than my sponsor mutt coin bank guys you seriously cannot beat that value i promise use code poodle for five percent off your order what's going on everybody it's poodle back with another madden ultimate team video guys and today i'm gonna be going over the upcoming week of mutt content guys and i could not have made this video yesterday i had another video planned for yesterday so i meant pushing this video to monday as you guys can see now typically my sunday video but like i said we're doing it on a monday upcoming week of mutt content guys i do anticipate a slightly slower week with a potential hit towards the next promo, if not at the end of this week, which I will be going into as well. Now, here's the thing. I'm excited for this next promo coming up. It's going to be a fun promo. We have some pretty big names, uh, potentially big names, depending on who they pick for the cards, depending on who signs where. And that's the free agency promo, so we are looking forward to that. Free agency promo last year was pretty cool. Again, the Masters were subpar last year, in my opinion, besides maybe Byron Jones, maybe Clowney. But the thing was, there's some good names this year. If they pick the right ones, Hopefully they get it done, but we are higher in overalls this year, so the free agency cards could potentially hit, you know, 98 powered up, 99 base. We're not sure yet. We don't know when we're going to get our first 99 bases, but it'll probably come from the Ultimate Legend promo, more or less. But moving on from that, guys, if you are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Turn that notification bell. Always give this video a big thumbs up, as always. If you haven't already, comment down below. Let me know what's up, guys. Like and commenting, subscribing, so important. Make sure you guys do all those things. And of course, if you guys do need coins, head over to Mutt Coin Bank down below. Super cheap coins. Make sure you use code Poodle for 5% off your order. Now, moving on from that, here's the thing. We do have the upcoming, this is going to be a slower week, like I said. Now, for this upcoming week, guys, we do anticipate so far, like, so Monday, I don't expect today, obviously. Don't expect anything Tuesday. Maybe expect some news. We do it for Wild Card Wednesday. We're going to get something probably not too great because we just got power ups, which is what we we're waiting for. So. Wildcard Wednesday, guys, you might get like some heavyweights, some veterans. I really don't know what they're going to give us, but I'm not excited for it. Wildcard Wednesday at this point. Let's say we get Rising Stars, which would be pretty cool. Uh, but a Rising Star card for us to be considered worthwhile would have to be a certain overall, right? These are 95s. If they gave us 97 Rising Stars, I would not be opposed. I would not be opposed to 97 overall Rising Stars. I think that would be super cool um, if they are 97s because that means they'll be caught up, right? And especially if they get a power up, then they'll be specifically, you know, they'll be even better. Um, one quick thing, guys, theme diamonds or theme MVPs, whatever it is, could be potentially coming. So they did give us a lot of those campus hero upgrades and stuff. And a lot of people, at one point, there was a hint of team diamonds, team stuff like that. So if we do get the updated version of that, maybe those guys are getting better cards in that promo. I really don't know. Don't take my word for that. But moving on to Thursday, which is like one of some of the, we only have a little bit of playing content this week. Going to be the limited edition cards, which, let's see. The recent guys we got now. Limited edition cards have been really good all year, and I, su I suspect they may start to hit 98s, right? So we have Trent Brown, Keanu Neal, Kyle Fuller, Cortland Sutton, Leighton Van Der Esch, and Robbie Anderson, as well as, let's see, any other 97s? No, that's all of them. Okay, so I suspect that we may be on the path to a 98 this week, which would be super cool, guys. 98 LTDs means 99 overall LTDs powered up and chemmed up. Now, it's been pretty good. Like I said, Keanu Neal. One of these, a safe that's typically not the fastest, got amazing stats, just some less speed. But again, that's, that's his, that's his, uh, his MO, right? Like he doesn't, he's not exactly the fastest safety in Madden. Trent Brown was great. Robbie Anderson, maxed out route, route, route running, can get 98 speed. It's a good card. These have been great cards. If we get a 98 overall, like I said, I want Saquon Barkley. I would love a Saquon Barkley because they can't really fit him into other promos. Now, I believe he already has an LTD for the year. So I don't think he'll get another one through this promo, but I'm hoping that there's a chance he could. I don't know who it'll be. Like I said, this will be Thursday, of course. Now, as far as Thursday LTD goes, it's been fun all year, guys. The LTDs have been great. Like I said, they, they, this is one of the better years. Now, we've had in the past, we've had things like this where every week there's LTDs, primetime performers. We've had some aspect of this. But honestly, guys, it's always like, oh, good, an overpriced card. This year, they're actually cheaper and better stats, right? In the past, guys, these LTDs that used to come out in primetime performance used to be like 800k, a million coins, steady, like always around there, maybe more. And the cards weren't even great. Like, even if the card was good, it was even more expensive. And if it was bad, it was just expensive. Now, this year around, this time around, they're actually good cards and they're affordable. They're in the 300k range. And you can power them up, cap them up, make them great cards. Like I said, me personally, I don't really mess with LTDs a lot just because of the fact, like, you know, I know they're a little bit overpriced in terms of what they should be. But these recently have not been, so the case has not been the same. As well as, you know, they don't have the power, which they've been pretty good with that as well this year. But I've been stuck in that old mindset of you don't really touch these cards. But this year, they've been great. Like I said, I don't know who it could be. Again, there's like a team list and stuff, you know, how it rotates through. 
I, I don't know who I would hope for. I mean, there's some great guys. Um, you know, Julio, a Saquon Barkley. And these cards are gonna be 99. So guys, we're, we're getting these are end game LTDs we're getting, you know. We're not dealing with just any cards anymore. Like, these are the cards that if you get on your team, you could rock with them the rest of Madden 21 to the day this game, you know, gets deleted, right? To the game, the day you log off forever. That's how good these cards are gonna be. So highly recommend you check them out. Now, next, guys. We do have Ultimate Legends again coming out on Saturday, and then Sunday's probably when we'll discuss the other stuff in just a second. Now, Ultimate Legends. Ultimate Legends, if you check, guys, they've been pretty good as well. So now, in terms of Ultimate Legends, guys, we're finally at that point where, like like I said, the endgame cards are just here. They're over there here. That's, that's all I gotta say. Like The endgame cards are here. They're here to stay. You guys already know the deal with them. Now, we go to the next category, 98. So we already have 98 Powder 99. So I don't think, like, we just got the 98, so we have officially three of them, I believe. So we're going to probably have another three weeks of 98s or two to three weeks before we end up actually moving to base 99s. So I suspect base 99s will be the last week of March or the first week of April, more or less, unless they really just speed up the progression here. But I doubt it. I think we'll stick to this uh, more or less. But um, yeah, the next week's going to be great again, guys. These cards are now all in game. Now, again, the names they pick. John Randall's good, but it's defensive tackle. Jonathan Ogden's good, but he's a tackle. Ricky Jackson was the best one there, right? Just based off position. So... I'm hoping they give us a running back pretty soon. Like one of those, like a solid running back. Like, I guess like a bow. Um, I can't even think right now, but a, a solid legend running back. Be a new updated tight end. You know, one of the legend tight ends, like a Shannon Sharp. That's just an absolute beast now. Um, we want a tight end, a wide receiver. Like a Randy Moss updated would be pretty cool pretty soon. I want, I want, I want all the GOAT legends to be updated. Like Michael Vick. Deion Sanders, Randy Moss. And remember, it's coming, guys. They're not going to hold out on those guys all the way till April or May. You know, they're going to get those two pretty soon because, of course, those make them money. And they're going to make sure they're end game, of course, right? That's why they're giving them to us at 98 overall. Or they may even wait to the 99 drop, right? Because the thing is, they wait till then. These cards are end game. They don't got to upgrade them anymore. Although, it'll probably make more sense for them, but it, it wouldn't fit into the schedule. Um, and then besides that, guys, yeah, like Deion, Randy Moss, Michael Vick, definitely need upgraded versions of those. Lawrence Taylor. And after that, guys, it's just, you know, if you get maybe, maybe we get a uh, Sean Taylor at some point, you know, and we upgrade it from there. But we do definitely need a few of those guys. Now, for the last thing, guys, I'm going to take you over to the other screen real quick. Final thing is the free agency promo, guys. Now, I can, I don't think it'll come out on Sunday. I think it'll be talked about by Sunday or maybe a special stream Sunday for Monday. Again, I think it starts in real life the 17th. Now, last year, it came out on the 18th, which was the day after. They're doing the offseason a little bit differently this year, so maybe it'll come out earlier. Like I said, they are to the combine, so maybe that makes more room for the free agency promo. Not sure, but again... I suspect we will know more information. I they, they'll comment on it this week for sure, and then it's just a matter of date. So either way, guys, for agency, it's gonna be super cool. I suspect we get about you know two to four masters again. Um, I think these guys will be 98 overalls or even base 99s. The, the like I said, they usually break out the base 99s with the uh, Ultimate Legends consistently, but I can see it coming here. Maybe one big master instead of four. You know, which one big one that's a 99 base for agency master. And then just a bunch of cards, guys. Like, we got a ton of cards. Like, this is just for agency part uh, two. In part one, guys, we got another. Like, these are, like, 15 to 20 cards right here. And we got that twice. So, that's, like, you know, 30 to 40 cards plus the Masters. It's a great promo. You know, all 32 teams are available for team chemistry. It makes it great for theme. It's great for theme teams. Great for meta teams. Great for God squads. Like, it's going to be a good promo. But, yeah, that's about it, guys. Enjoy the rest of your day. Hopefully, you enjoyed today's video. If you are new to the channel, hit that thumb, thumbs up button. Subscribe. Turn that notification bell. And that's about it. Enjoy the rest of your day. I'm out. Peace.